Hey friends, how are you? Uh, just a really quick video for you today. I'm gonna take you through an epic orchestral mock-up, step-by-step. Uh, I'm gonna post the full mixing session on Patreon. I'll put that link below, but I think this video will give you a really good idea of how I put these types of tracks together. In the meantime, make sure to join the Production Music Academy. It's totally free to sign up and you'll be the first to be notified about any upcoming courses. And all the courses are currently 50% off until May 17th. So make sure to check them out. Uh, that link is below as well. All right, let's jump into it. Okay, let's start with the simple cello pattern. And we'll turn up the juice on these a little bit by increasing the velocity. I'm just gonna draw in this violin pattern because there's no way I'm gonna be able to play it well enough on the piano. Okay, here's what we got. And we'll double this up an octave. Uh, it's a bit low range for violin. I'll copy this violin MIDI into my fluid shorts and do the same thing for my uh, cellos and my basses. Let's bring these basses down an octave. And I'm gonna copy these violins into my CSS strings ensemble. And lastly, I'm gonna copy uh, these basses into my solo bass patch. All together. Okay, let's add a bass pulse. I'm going to draw out the length of these notes a little bit so it's a bit smoother. I'll copy this bass MIDI into my muted bass logic patch. And together with the CS80, it's sounding pretty nice. Okay, I like this Brahm sample from Splice. But it's in the wrong key, so I'll just import this into a contact sampler. And I'm going to find the right pitch for it. Okay, perfect. And let's record it in. Okay, we need some percussion, so let's add some uh, damaged drums in here. And I'm going to double that up with some damaged woods. Let's throw in some Tycho's. I'll copy the damage MIDI into my Cerberus kit which sounds pretty heavy. Okay, let's add some snare. Okay, let's copy this pattern out and maybe I'll push this one section up a few steps to change the key. Okay, we need some bass trombone for our big melody here. And maybe a secondary part for the key change. And then to finish it off. Okay, let's beef up the percussion with some short brass articulations using Albion 1. push up the velocity and I'll make a few adjustments here. I'm going to copy my trombone melody into my trumpet patch and I'm going to push that up an octave. I'll do the same for my French horns. I've got this evil brass from Sonya Scores, uh, Horns of Hell. Okay, woodwinds are sort of tough to incorporate in, into a track like this, but we can figure something out. If we just draw in some simple chords and then we throw a MIDI arpeggiator on the track, let's just choose our up and down pattern and let's try 30 second notes and see what happens. Mm, not quite, let's try 64th notes. Okay, let's draw out the length a bit on our MIDI and maybe add some reverb. Nice. And of course we need some choir. And we'll push up the key for this section here. And then for the grand finale. Let's 
Let's make sure to put a symbol swell up front here. And I'll copy paste that across the track. Maybe we'll add a drum roll in here, just on the front as well. And I'm going to grab a riser sample, uh, maybe a trailer hit too. Okay, did a quick mix on it, and here's what we got so far. All right, thanks so much for watching as always. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to uh, grab my free sample and MIDI pack uh, from my website. That link should be up above. And uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions and just let me know how you're doing. Uh, I'm sending out love to all of you and I will see you in the next video. Okay, peace.